Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and we actually something pretty cool happened. We were out here filming and we came across a really cool animal. For before we show you what it is, I want to show you a place that they like to live. And we're right on this, this, this lake bank right here, and there's this opening right here. And basically what we're looking at is we're looking at an entrance to a house. You might be able to make out some of the sticks in that under the water. And then under here, under where we're standing, there's most likely a burrow, and it's got an underwater entrance. Any idea what might use that? You might be thinking beaver, because beavers have underwater entrances, but we're not. We're talking about something similar to a beaver, same family, but a little bit smaller. Take a look at this cutie. That's a muskrat, who actually seemed to like us and wanted to come over for a visit. And these muskrats are pretty cool little animals. Now, as I said, they do belong to the rodent family, so they've got those big orange teeth that rodents all have, just like beavers. And muskrats are actually pretty aquatic, not completely an aquatic animal, but they spend a good majority of their time in the water. Now, the cool thing is you might be able to make out his skinny little tail on the back of him. His tail, just like all rats, has no fur on it. And it's almost more of a scale-like uh, uh, scales almost on the end of their tail. And that actually helps them swim. They'll use that tail back and forth to help them swim a little bit. You can see when he swims, he keeps his head above the water. They're really good at swimming, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, muskrats eat primarily vegetation. That's about 97% of their diet is plants. But every now and then, they might eat a clam or a mollusk or maybe even a fish if they can get that. Now, the crazy the thing about these muskrats is a lot of people get kind of grossed out by them because really they're a big giant rat. But in all honesty, they've been pretty important to human culture and they've been important because a lot of people, surprisingly enough, eat muskrats. I know, kind of gross. I would never want to eat a muskrat, but in a lot of places they are eaten and they are really important to human culture for that reason. Their fur is actually also pretty important to a lot of people as well. But the thing about muskrats is that they do live very similar to beavers and actually a lot of scientists believe that beavers and muskrats do coexist quite well together. They may actually at times live in the same lodges. There's a lot of debate on that, but it is believed that they do. And muskrats, just like beavers, sometimes if they don't build a burrow under the ground like this one, they'll actually build a little lodge. It looks like a little hut, somewhat similar to a beaver lodge, only a little bit smaller in size. And last but not least, it's cold out here today. You might see some ice on the water. Muskrats are really well built for cold weather. They have two layers of fur. They've got a top layer that helps waterproof them and they got a bottom layer that helps to keep them nice and warm in cold days like this. Well as the geese fly over I'm gonna say see you soon. I'm Jeff the Nature Guy. Hope to see you real soon here in Zoo Montana.